Today, I'm going to be telling my story about my nipple piercings and how I got them, why I got them, and stuff like that. This is my storage unit. What's up, Jet Setters? I'm back again with yet another video. If you're not already part of the Jet Setting team, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe. All right, um, cause you're gonna be missing out on a whole bunch of crazy stuff. A lot of stories coming up. I'm gonna start doing story times. Sun bright. Um, I'm recording this as I am going to my storage unit to go drop off some things. Let's add to that up here. Um. Because I said I was going to have it done by 9. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record it while I'm driving there. Did they, hit, did they run into the pole? Hmm, interesting. That's crazy. They ran into the stop sign. There ain't no other car in sight. Um, yeah, so as I go to the, uh, my self-storage, I'm going to be eating because I just stopped and got some you and my goose. If you ever been to Orlando, I don't know where else is that. It's kind of like Zaxby's though. But Huey and my goose is oh my god so good. Like they they dip their chicken tenders. Pretty much all of them unless you don't want to dip. But it's so good. I got sweet heat. They got sweet heat, garlic parmesan and it's so good y'all. Um oh today I'm gonna be telling my story about my nipple piercings and how I got them, why I got them, and stuff like that. So, when was that? First of all, last Sunday. Not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before this one. Um. So. Me, usually, like, when I'm feeling down or I'm feeling depressed or, like, sad or something, you know how people have, like, different things that they do to cope. Like, some people, they might just go out to the club. Some people might travel. Some people might just hang around their family. Me, I get tattoos or piercings. I don't have that many, but, like, when I'm feeling, like, really, really down, that's what I do. I got one, two, three. Three tattoos. I tried to get a belly button piercing one time, but this whole man didn't have the right anatomy for it. So, whatever. But when this happened, I actually was about to go get two ear piercings. But the two ear piercings would have been $80 versus getting my nipples pierced, which was only 60 So I was like, I've been kind of thinking about it anyway. And I just stood there. The lady was looking at me like, if you don't hurry up and make a decision. One. The day before, I was set on ear pieces. I, I was going to get a um a bar. And I was going to get my, um, what's that thing called? <coughs> Excuse me. Rook. I was gonna get the rook piercing and I was gonna get the industrial piercing. But I ended up changing my mind at the last minute. When I went to church last Sunday, I did. And then as soon as I left church, I went straight to the tattoo shop and I got my piercings. But y'all, I was so nervous. Like, I should have recorded it. Like, I would let them close and, and like record it again for y'all, but it's too painful for that because I should have just recorded in the beginning. Um, yeah, I watched YouTube video, and a lot of people say it's hot that they're um you can either buy like this numbing cream that before you go, or like the tattoo shop will have some numbing cream, but the tattoo shop I went to. They didn't have no lemon cream. They didn't use any anyway. She didn't even ask me on one of them. It was a female that pierced me. And I was just like, she was like, are you ready? I was like, she was like, well, this is how I do it. I do one, then I go straight to the other one. So she just left the needles in me instead of pulling it out. She just left the needle in there. And she um, went 
went to the other one I, immediately. So she, I had two needles, and then she went to get the jewelry. But I was like, the first one, I was ready. Like, I was just thinking, like, trying not to think about it. So I was relaxed. I said, <clears throat> the next one, I screamed. Like, they still hurt. I don't care what nobody say. Nipple piercings hurt, okay? I don't care. I got a spine tattoo, and that didn't hurt. To me, the nipple piercings was way, way, way worse, and it lasts. Like, the pain still is there, but it's not there as much. Like, if I hit it or something, it really hurt. But if I lay on them, it hurts. But right now, it don't. But for, like, the first three or four days, pain Oh. Painful. Um. So yeah, like that's just how I get over stuff. Like, you don't know. In the past, I used to be like type of person that try to hurt myself. Well, I didn't try to hurt myself, but I used to like think about hurting myself. So. To me, this is like a coping mechanism where I'm like, okay, I can go hurt myself, but it'll end up being a good hurt in the end. Like, I'll end up being like something will come out of it. I'll be pretty. My next one's gonna be my sister right here. I really wanna get that anyway. But I feel like my adrenaline really be going when I go get stuff like that. That's the only way I can do it. So I'm gonna push me and be like, your time to go get it <laughs> then I won't be thinking about it as much so I'm not inserting no pictures or nothing I'm not <laughs> if I had the video I would have posted it but I don't have a video I didn't record it I should have recorded it I wasn't thinking at all today I just been packing all day this is my first time eating I've been packing all day. Tomorrow, I'll get my hair done. And what else? Oh, and I'm just relaxing, I guess. I mean, getting like doing my nails until I get to go get them done. And it was something I wanted to talk about. What was it? People be asking me for my number. Why people be asking me for my number? My number is all over the internet. I swear to God. Vivid, on my Vivid Dream travel page, on my Instagram page, click contact. That's my number. I have two cell phones. One I use more than the other one. One is technically for business, but they're both my phones. So, people who ask me for my number, I don't just give out my number to random people unless you ask them for like a specific reason like if you ask me to book a trip for you or something that's different but they're both my numbers I swear to God and I really don't care about people having my numbers I don't care about anybody having my number feel free text me I like texting more than talking but this person asked me I gave them my business phone number it was like, is that your personal phone? Can we FaceTime? No, we cannot FaceTime. Unless you're one of my clients and I'm helping you with a trip and it's like really business related. I'm not, no, no FaceTiming. No FaceTiming. I'm gonna make me a price list. Then he was like, I wanna take you on a date. It's like, I don't go on dates. I don't go on dates, not for free, honey. That's called the meeting greet. Because I already, mm -mm. I don't know. I'm gonna make a price list though. Meet and greets, FaceTime calls. Since people are, since you guys want to know more about me and you guys want to talk to me, so I should make a price list, All right?
But on a serious note, if you email me or you text me, I'm going to text back like a regular person. As long as you're not being seductive or vulgar, I'm really nice. I'm a cool person. And everybody, anybody that ever meet, met me or meets me, they always tell me, I like your vibe. I'm an honest, I'm an honest, honest person. I really, and it's, I think another thing is, like, I really don't care about opinions at all. At all, zero percent. Because guess what? The only person that can judge me. He said hi and look low. And ain't no person on earth perfect. So yeah. Um, I do take advice. Good advice. Like, you know. But as far as like caring to where somebody is trying to hurt my feelings or saying I look a certain way. I know who I am. So that's that's how. I wish I could go live on here. But I only can do it for my laptop. If you want me to go live this weekend, like this video. Now, oh, it's traffickers. I should have did this earlier, like I said I was going to do. Does anybody else eat their fries first? Or does anybody eat their food separate? Like me, I eat one thing at a time. <laughs> because I want to taste that one thing. Like, if I got a plate of soul food, macaroni, green, cornbread, yams, turkey, I don't know, all that stuff. I'm going to eat one by one. Like, I'm gonna pick that plate apart. Macaroni. That probably go last because I like macaroni the best. And that's another thing I do. I usually save the best thing I like for last. But, um, yeah. That's pretty much it. If y'all have <coughs> any questions about my nipple piercings and things like that, like, healing process is going and stuff like that i'll let you know make sure oh excuse me make sure to comment down below but i'm about to get up off of here because i don't know where i'm going and i need to use my gps so thank you guys for watching more cute talks q talks will be coming soon tell me also comment what you want the next no story time because I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all a juicy story next time because this really wasn't nothing like i really didn't have nothing to tell to be honest yeah i really don't have nothing to tell i would have posted a video but i don't have it so yeah you know no i got nipple pierces don't forget $500 when I reach 500 subscribers, baby. We at 205. Almost halfway there. Like, comment, subscribe, share. <laughs> Bars. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna get up off here. Cause I might have passed my turn, y'all. Yeah.